Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein. And I'm Jennifer Von Reuter. And we're starting off, it's the new year, so, you know, a lot of, it's a good idea to start thinking about your finances mm -hmm. and for 2024, so finance health. And so there are eight easy steps to kind of get yourself such situated for the year. So first, review your bank and credit card statements from 2023. It's mm -hmm. Kind of like one of those things that you really don't want to do, but yeah. you really need to know, just kind of see where where you are and, and how things are going. So then total your emergency savings. So see, hopefully, you know, you really should put some money set aside, especially for those unexpected expenses. Oh, yeah. So take a look at that and where you can save to beef that up. Total all of your debt. So that's credit card, that's mortgages, that's mm -hmm. student loans, all of those things that kind of really break down what your bills are. And then, then check the, se the security strength of your financial accounts. So this is interesting. They, this is, researchers are saying, you know, make sure that your accounts are, <laughs> in the, woo, are safe. We'll see you in a minute. Sit down in a second. <laughs> Don't worry, happens all the time. <laughs> so they're talking about hackers. So make sure that, you know, you change your passwords yeah. and they're not easy, so you're not vulnerable oh, yeah. to hackers and that sort of thing. Check your credit report and your credit score. That's always a good thing to kind of see, you know, what your buying power is. Yeah. And then look at your social security statements and then review your retirement account and balances. So it's really about, you know, start off, kind of see where you are yeah. and make some goals and, and where you need to be. Okay. Yeah, I feel like these are just great financial tips overall. Yeah, exactly. And it's, yeah. you know, it's it's a good starting the year off kind of on that yeah. on that footnote. Okay, moving on to our health now. So there are seven easy goals to improve your health without dieting. Oh, okay. Right. I'm cut my attention. I know. Okay, it's cut mine as well. All right. So number one, focus on microbe friendly foods. So that is foods um, higher in fiber. So think oats, beans, mm -hmm. lentils, like those legumes, and they really fill yeah. you up. And fruits, um, and, and especially legumes, they can really fill you up all day yeah. with very little. So fill up on those. Okay, cut back on packaged foods. I feel like that's kind of obvious. I, mm -hmm. I was listening to one person, if it doesn't have a life, don't eat it, yeah. meaning if it wasn't a plant or an animal, that sort of thing. Mm. So don't eat the processed foods. Um, that sort of thing. Eat more healthy carbs again. So avocados, eggs, poultry, yogurt, seafood, mm -hmm. you know, replace those white and high processed carbs with whole grains. Uh, and again, beans, peas, lentils. Um, eat like a centarian. So those are those people that live to 100 and those yeah. blue zones. So they're talking mm -hmm. about a variety of plant um, based foods, rich in fiber, that sort of thing. Eat smaller dinners. This is, I've done this, yeah. where I will take the smaller plate, not the big entree plate, mm -hmm. and just eat my, you know, fill that bowl, that, that plate. And which that's is so smaller. tough for me, just, I know. To, just to cut down at dinner time when you're so hungry. It's very true. It is. But yeah. if you do and eat slowly, I've eat done slowly, that. Eat slowly, yeah, yeah, that helps. Yeah. Um, and then add um, more spices and nuts and plants and fermented foods. I like kimchi, mm -hmm. if I, especially if I'm getting a craving, I can't wait to dinner, I'll eat kimchi. Mm -hmm. And then eat your bread last. Mm -hmm. It's part of the, your, how your body yeah. digests it, that sort of thing. So those are just some yeah. helpful Now you tips. mentioned if it was never alive, don't eat it. Did you see the Pop-Tart uh, mascot? No. It was, it's gone all over social media. There was a Pop-Tart that like popped out of a toaster. Mm -hmm. That's what my mind just immediately went to. <laughs> Pop tarts aren't alive, but yeah, it feels a mascot. Hmm, maybe it's, it's kind of alive. Pop tarts are really good though. They so are eat so eat those in good. moderation. Maybe. In moderation, yeah. There you Every go. now and then, treat yourself to a pop tart. Okay, and then of course, uh, seven tips to build an exercise habit. Hmm. So this is you know this is. 11 minute brisk walk every day. And that's not difficult. Not yeah. hard at all. Morning exercise uh, may be better for fat burning. Mm -hmm. I like to get it done I've in the morning that, yeah. and get out of here, get, get it done for the day. Oh yeah, I love that. And I've definitely heard that morning exercise is better for you. Yeah, yeah. so that's good. Outdoor workouts, so just getting outside in the green space. It, yeah. I will say I'd much rather go on a run outside than on the treadmill. Oh yeah, You definitely. know, it's just, it's just better. Uh, walking four days a week can really boost your brain health. So in a study, mm -hmm. 70 to 80 year olds walking just four days a week for four months led to better scores on cognitive tests. So it's just good for that. Yeah. And then the goal is 10,000 steps um, if you can. 10,000 steps isn't the only goal, but 
a lot of people, there's a new study that more than 47,000 people showed that for men and women younger than 60, the greatest relative reductions in risk of dying prematurely came in if you just got anywhere between eight and 10,000 steps per day. Yeah. And then less strenuous exercise can burn more fat. Hmm. Who knew? Interesting. Um, you can get more out of exercise when you track it. That's true. I love those, yeah. um, like this, the eye watches yeah. and the track. Yeah. Because you can really see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. And when I'm running, I have an app on my phone that I can track oh. my entire path. It, like, maps it out. Oh, neat. Yeah. yeah. And it tells you, like, how fast you're running, what your pace was. Mm -hmm. And that's fun just to be able to see that after you're done. Yeah. It gives you something to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. So. And then, and even, right, right. You can see how far you've progressed yeah. as far as, like, your different runs. Oh, so. I like that. I'm going yeah. to have to get that app for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll share it with that. you. Yep. All right. So, well, there thank you, you Jennifer, go. on our health beat today. Yes. A lot of great health <laughs> advice there. <laughs> Let's take a look at our local headlines this Tuesday morning. Starting today in Albemarle County, if you travel Fraze Mill Road, you may need to find another route for an extended period of time. VDOT crews will close the more than 80-year-old bridge over Marsh Run at Advance Mills Road as it undergoes a long overdue replacement. If you need to use Advance Mills Road north or west of the closure, VDOT says you should use Cedar Grove Road. The project is expected to be completed by the end of the year. The movies are back on at Alamo Draft House Cinema on 5th Street Station. After a tough New Year's Eve, the chain says nationwide Sony projector issues forced it to close Sunday. It's not saying what the root cause of the problem was. Everything was back up and running yesterday morning, which was good news because New Year's is usually a big movie day. Well, everyone has their New Year's traditions. For the past 15 years, Barbecue Exchange in Gordonsville has offered a good luck meal on January 1st. It comes with cornbread, black eyed peas, collard greens, and pork and each food item represents a different blessing for the new year and finally some started 2024 on a chilly note about 70 people traded their winter jackets for swim trunks for a dip in the river in charlottesville the rivana company hosted the polar plunge and they just installed a sauna there so they were able people were able to get into the sauna afterward and warm up which I wonder if you could just skip the polar plunge and go straight to the sauna. That sounds like the best part of it. If you could skip that and just have a nice warm day, I'd definitely prefer that to jumping into super cold lake water. <laughs> I mean, it's a refreshing start to 2024. Uh, I suppose. I suppose. The, the sauna still sounds like the best part of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a uh, pleasant day ahead. Sunny skies. Temperatures making it to the upper 40s, so a little cooler than average. As we get into the week, we are going to slowly see those temperatures start to cool a little more. As we head into Saturday, our daytime highs will only make it into the 30s, and we're also tracking a chance for some snow and rain. So make sure the Storm Team 29 weather app so you know what's going on in the area. Following that, as we end the weekend and start next week, we'll be looking at sunnier days with temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Yeah, all eyes are on Saturday at this point. Because right now, that's what it is, Saturday. Although we could see uh, a brief disturbance bringing us mm. a few showers on Thursday. Most areas remain dry, not going to be very significant. But Saturday is definitely the day that uh, if you had to have the app a day for a day, that would be the day to have it. Yeah, and stay tuned throughout the week for updates because right now we're just way too far out to make We're a bit far out. I mean, that yeah. system is still moving in from the West Coast, so we still have quite a bit of time before it comes in uh, still trying to uh, determine what rainfall and snowfall amounts mm -hmm. will be so again as we head into the week this is uh, definitely the next several days or days you want to pay attention to and of course make sure that you're prepared as you start heading into your Saturday Yeah, and download the storm team 29 app absolutely and of course with that you can send us pictures we would love to see those oh always love the pictures <laughs> all right thank you Dominique and thank you guys for joining us this morning on the morning rush we'll see you again both of us on 29 news at noon have a great Tuesday out there